सर अस्सलाम वालेकुम हेलो अस्सलाम वालेकुम हेलो जी अस्सलाम वालेकुम सर हां सुनते हो अच्छा सर और सर आप ভালো আছেন जी सर अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह आप कैसे हैं सब जयन कर चल्लिस क्लस शुरू करब कम दस मिनट मत ही शुरू करब ओके सर
Abrar, whether your problem is solved or not. Abrar. Sir, Assalamu alaikum, sir. Um, Abrar, uh, you, uh, you had a problem previously. Now uh, that problem is solved. Sir, sir, which sir? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, yes, sir. Uh, I have understand that uh, I can continue this. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, may I ask something? Okay, please. Yes, sir. I'm totally new and. Today is my first class. May I know the uh, marking procedure and what I, I, I will tell you everything. Starting just half an hour, I will discuss about the course, uh, how I will evaluate the course, and what is the procedure of our study, and how we evaluate all of the course. And what will be the marks, marking procedure, everything I will discuss. Oh, okay, thank you. So thanks for it. Thank you. Okay, now uh, uh, I can start my class. Uh, our course name is Data Mining. And some students are in this course, some students are new who are admitted in this semester. And some students are my previous semester students. And some are uh, old students uh, are in this class. So our course name is data mining and course code is CAC6011. Dear student, this course is, is in optional list in data science group. And this is the, this course also available in other major tracks. For example, this course is available in the Business Intelligence Stack, Data Science Stack, also in Intelligent Computing Stack. So this, uh, this course is available in many tracks. So dear student, if you, if you take this course in that case, if you are in different tracks, different major tracks, in that case, now I am telling about the data mining course. Our course code is CAC 6011. Our course name is data mining. So this course is not only for data science track, this course is available in many tracks. So dear student, please follow our MSCAC syllabus. I already told MS Aisha to upload the many things for new student because new student do not know our system. Because of, the, uh, because of this, I already told MS Aisha to upload the academic calendar and class routine, thesis and proposal format, thesis and proposal completion procedure, master syllabus, and master's major track completion procedure. So everything, every document uh, Aisha already has, and I already told her to upload all of the materials for you. Dear student, C 
since you are master's student so at first you have to read the msc lc syllabus and also very minorly you have to understand and you have to read the major track that you want to take because you have to select in each of the semester you have to select all of the course based on your major track you know that we have seven major tracks one major track is software engineering one major track is intelligent computing one one major track is computer networks one major track is data science one major track is cyber security and one major track is business intelligence and another final track is no major no that major that means you will get only masters in computer science and engineering degree but you have no major in that case uh, you can uh, select a no major uh, if you do not want to take any major dear student remember that for all of the majors research methodology and technical writing this course is mandatory this course is mandatory dear student always remember that during the msc lc period in uiu research methodology and technical writing course is mandatory for all this course is uh, this course within the 36 credit research methodology and technical writing course is within the 36 credit and this course contains three credits so dear student uh, remember that during the mscc period in uiu you have to complete the research methodology and technical writing course in any semester in any semester you have to uh, complete this course this is the one thing dear student another thing is always remember that sometimes some students fall into some problem dear student when you are registering in that case re uh, remember that you can halt your registration for at most consecutive two semesters because it is not possible to halt or to stop your registration for more than two semester if you stop your registration for more than two semester in that case your admission will be cancelled in that case you have to readmit again in masters program uh, by spending 15000 again so always remember that at most you can halt your master's registration for at most two semesters because you are a busy person all of the students are professional so uh, you have office you have family you have some problem so remember that if you want to stop your registration uh, consecutive two semesters Con consecutive two semester you can stop your registration it is not allowed to stop the master's registration for more than two semester that you should remember always because if you uh, if you forget uh, forget uh, forget about this uh, it will be problem for you another thing is the student always look at the you can software you can software at first you have to collect the collect the user id and password from msi shaktar and you have to access your own ucam software because uh, in the ucam software your result is available your money uh, uh, your registration money your scholarship money your tuition fee waiver money your student loan everything is available in your ucam software so always access your ucam software 
if any problem arises in that case please contact me and also contact msi shakdar if you feel any problem uh, for example your scholarship related problem your tuition fee waiver related problem your uh, student role in loan related problem your uh, fine related problem so if any kind of problem you feel after observing that you can subscribe then please contact me also msi shakdar do not hide your a problem because dear yes, student uiu always strictly follow the rules and regulations of uiu uh, if you uh, feel any problem in that case contact with me i will help you i will try myself best so that you can uh, you can solve your problem and very initial stage so that you uh, if your problem is deeper in that case it will be problem so dear student always remember that if any problem please contact with me and also msi shakta and you already know my uh, phone number email address so if any problem in that case uh, please email to me please uh, uh, call me so that i can solve your problem so uh, dear student this is another thing another thing is dear student if you want to get uh, you, if you want to make the course registration without paying the money in that case dear student it is only applicable for new student new student uh, if new student uh, a new student has no money to make course registration dear student please email to me official email to me and i will help you by bcsr so that bcsr uh, approve approve you uh, to make course registration without money in that case you have to pay your course registration fee by installment you i uh, give you four installments so uh, you can uh, you can pay your money by four installment during the uh, trimester period so dear student from aisha akhtar uh, uh, try to clear the how to proceed how to process how to process the installment money and how to pay the installment money so dear student this is the registration related problem another thing is dear student during course registration always remember that we have a special topic one course special topic one and special topic two course this two type of course is available last semester uh, i offered i offered you the special topic one that was conducted by professor motaharul islam future internet course that was the special topic one is what is the special topic one and special topic two that means this topic uh, we offer so why we offer this topic because for example a new professor from uh, america or australia or canada comes uh, comes to bangladesh uh, he wants to take the class uh, in new topic that topic is available uh, in in the world that means that is the contemporary topic so in that case for example we have no uh, no course that related course how can i accommodate that professor because i want to accommodate that professor through our special topic one and special topic two but remember that during the whole mscc period the special topic one and special topic two you can take only for one time only for one time it is not possible to take the special topic one and special topic two for more than one time this is always you should remember and dear student i already told you i i i i told the aisha i told aisha akhtar to upload many things i already told you another thing you have to remember that from aisha akhtar you have to collect the thesis or project proposal thesis or project proposal format and thesis or project uh, uh, book writing format and also thesis specialization please collect from him from her because these uh, documents are necessary for you 
that documents are necessary for you so dear student inshallah i will help you during the whole master's period and our all of the teachers will help you because they are very cooperative they uh, they want to they want to help you but if you have uh, if you uh, contact with them uh, including me then in that case they will help you do not hide yourself do not hide the problem of you their student this is the one thing another thing is their student our marking system our marking system of the university 90 and above 90 is a grade 90 and above 90 is a grade that means if you if you get a grade in that case your gpa is 4 our next next grade is a minus what is a minus 86 and above 86 and below 90 that is a minus 86 and below 90 that is a minus and another grade is next grade is b plus what is b plus 82 to 85 below 86 that is b plus so dear student this way our grading system uh, already exist grading system so please try to understand our grading system if you get below 55 in that case your grade will be a so dear student please try uh, try yourself best and try to follow the classes of all of the course teachers in this semester because uh, if you follow the rules and regulations of the uiu in that case i hope that you will get the uh, better grade you will get better grade if you do not uh, if you do not follow the system in that case you will fall into problem so dear student i am requesting you to follow the rules and regulation of uiu and dear student uh, you know that our class uh start from 8:30 8:30 morning and our class will be finished at 5 pm each of the class is 2 hour 30 minutes our class starts from 8:30 so first hour is 8:30 to 11 am then next class is 11 am to 1:30 pm next class is 2:30 pm to 5 5 pm so dear student this is our class duration we have no classes we have no classes at night we have no classes at night so 5:30 our class will be finished all of the classes will be finished at 5:30 so dear student you have to maintain that time of class duration and another thing is our attendance has a marks attendance has a marks so try yourself best to attend our classes our classes because attendance has a marks assignment has a marks and project has a marks and mid term has marks and also final exam has marks now allocation of marks dear student you you may have a question Sir, uh, what is the marks in final exam? What is the marks in midterm exam? What is the marks in project? Now, dear, uh, dear student, now COVID period. So, government up to now, government did not uh, did not announce any uh, any uh, declaration. So, in that case, uh, I will tell you the marks allocation after some days. because after uh, ugc uh, announcement i will tell you what will be our marking system uh, for this course because uh, last semester uh, we have completed our last semester by using the assignments uh, uh, most of the teachers completed their last semester by assignments so dear student <coughs> uh, assignment so uh, but in this semester how i will uh, complete that depends on ubc uh, declaration but remember that 
uh, our MSCC program. In the case of MSCC program, we are relaxed because uh, in the MSCC program, some presentation, some project, some assignment, uh, some uh, in that case, maybe meet, maybe final exam may occur. So uh, in the case of MSCC program, we are relaxed and we will help you uh, to get the mark because it is not very difficult uh, to get the 90 or above 90 because uh, you may think that, that that is very difficult to get the 90 mark to get the A grade. It is not very difficult. Those who are old students, they know that uh, it is not very difficult because all of the teachers in UI are cooperative. They are trying to give marks and if students try hard, uh, then in that case, these are, uh, these are they, uh, give, mar uh, give marks to the student. So it is not very difficult to get the 90 or above 90. Each of the semester, almost 36, 38 students uh, get the scholarship. The student, we have many scholarship uh, schemes. You know that we have many scholarship uh, schemes. For example, colleague scholarship, your result scholarship, uh, husband wife scholarship, uh, and uh, and uh, freedom fighter scholarship, and many scholarships are available. Government employee scholarship. If you are defense personnel, in that case, uh, uh, you have a scholarship. Last semester. Uh, two or three students from Bangladesh Defense uh, admitted themselves in our master's program. So uh, for defense personnel, uh, we have a scholarship. So many, many scholarship UI you have. Uh, another thing is, if you feel any problem, uh, financial problem, uh, for example, uh, you cannot pay uh, your uh, trimester fee due to financial problem, but you are interested to make registration in that case dear student please uiu has facilities uiu has facilities uh, to take the loan student loan 50000 student loan will be given by uiu so that a student can continue his or her study so this uh, loan is interest free up to 6 month 6 month up to 6 month this loan is interest free Dear student, if you feel any problem uh, to pay the uh, pay the money, in that case you can uh, take the loan from the university because university will give you fifty thousand loan uh, to continue the study. So, dear student, now I will give you the chance. If you have any question, uh, 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 please ask me. If you have any question, uh, your uh, academic related or especially new student may have a, some question because they are new. So please ask me question and I will answer you. Dear student, if you have any problem, if you have any question, please ask me. Dear student. Sir, Assalamualaikum. Okay, please. Sir, actually I am having a session with our officer. So I cannot actually respond to your class for the next one hour. Okay. I'm with you, sir. Please consider my presence. Thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, dear student, new student, do you have any problem to understand what I am trying to say? Uh, if you have any problem, please ask me question. New student, especially new student, I am uh, telling about a new student, uh, and old student may have, uh, may have a question no problem, uh, but I, especially I encourage the new student. I'm encouraging the new student to ask the question. Uh, uh, new student, do you have any question, please? Yes, I have. Okay, please. So actually, I looked over your course curriculum or the tracks. Over there, I saw the thesis for the data science. It's 18 credits. So 18 credits means I need to take two semesters or in a single semester? Uh, according to a very good question, uh, according to Academic Council, uh, uh, thesis already passed by Academic Council. So Academic Council, uh, our university Academic Council uh, already uh, published uh, a student, 
uh, cannot take more than 12 credit hour thesis in a semester. That means uh, you can take three credit hour, you can take six credit hour, you can take nine credit hour, you can take 12 credit hour at most in a semester. But remember that you total credit hour of thesis is 18 credit. So how can you take your thesis? So this is very important question. Those students who are very good student and who wants to uh, who wants to do the PhD in near near So in that case, the student how this student take the thesis because uh, thesis. I already told you three credit, six credit, nine credit, 12 credit, at most 12 credit you can take. So uh, my suggestion, this is not mandatory, but this is my suggestion. Uh, you should at first register the thesis for three credits. This is my suggestion. And after registering the three credits, in that case, you have to submit a proposal uh, proposal to the proposal presentation ceremony because we have a uh, we have a proposal presentation ceremony and in the proposal presentation ceremony our all of the doctorate professors and our senior professors of CSE department at Tripoli department and some professors from different university uh, at uh, attend attend the proposal ceremony. So if your proposal is good and if your proposal is eligible for MSCC thesis, in that case, no problem. But if your proposal presentation is bad, your proposal is bad, in that case, your proposal will get the repeat. Repeat means you have to, uh, again, you have to again uh, present your proposal in the next third semester. So uh, you will get three times chance to present your proposal. If you do not present your, uh, if you uh, successfully, uh, if you successfully, you do not pass the proposal presentation, in that case, uh, you will get three times chance but after three times chance, and uh, you will not get chance to present your proposal again. And in that case, we will suggest you to do the project or master's by course. So dear student, be careful when you are taking the, when you are taking the master's by thesis, in that case, thesis proposal presentation, uh, you have to make and you, many steps you have to follow and MSI Shaktar will give you the thesis and project completion procedure. There, there are 18 procedures, there are 18 steps to complete the thesis and project. So all of the steps you have to follow. And our recommendation is during the thesis or project period, you have to submit, you have to, uh, you have to submit one paper to the conference, especially uh, for thesis. This is our recommendation. This is not mandatory, but this is the, our recommendation uh, to submit a paper to the international conference or international journal, uh, especially for the thesis student. This is our recommendation. So dear oh. students, I, I, okay, please. One more thing. So for the thesis, who who gonna give us the uh, topics? It's need to be uh, by us or the faculty. Uh, yes, uh, this is very good question. Also, um, uh, each semester, our all of the senior professors, uh, especially uh, those professors are related to our master's program. They submitted many topics. Last semester, they submitted one hundred. Uh, uh, near about 117 uh, topics they have submitted. And from those, from, from those topics, students, students, uh, select, students select their topic. Please, 
their student uh, mute yourself their student their student please mute yourself ideas ideas please mute yourself ideas so on the second they have to be so there is kala kala yes dear student mute yourself so uh, you can select your topic from the topics that uh, we will give you it is not mandatory but you can select from those topic and another thing i will tell you you can select your supervisor from any university not it is not mandatory to select the this is supervisor or project supervisor from uiu you can select you this is supervisor or project supervisor from any university uh, we have hardin doctorate professor uh, doctorate teacher in csc department you can you can select your supervisor from our doctorate teachers and also from our tripoli uh, our tripoli department from our tripoli department teachers you can select your supervisor and you can select your supervisor from dhaka university jahanginagar university and you can select your supervisor from uh, chitong university chuet 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 uh, from any place you can select from any educational institution you can select but uh, in that case if you select the supervisor from uiu and also from uh, outside the UIU, uiu in that case remember that uiu will uh, uiu will spend uh, uiu uiu will spend 30000 taka for you to your supervisor so dear student you can select your supervisor from any higher from any educational institution you can select your supervisor so uh, you you i u has no obligation regarding that so i hope that you have understood what i am trying to say so you can select your supervisor from any place from dhaka university from kuwait from chuet from u i u from anywhere you can select uh, that is up to you uh, uh, but uh, if you select your supervisor from outside the u i u in that case uh, we uh, i suggest you uh, to select one co supervisor from ui <laughs> you have to select your co supervisor one supervisor one co supervisor from ui so that you supervisor and co supervisor both supervisors can help you so it is my suggestion if you select your supervisor from outside the ui in that case uh it is recommended to select your co supervisor from ui so that they both of both of them uh, can help you so dear student i hope that you have understood what i am trying to say any question dear student uh, assalam alaikum sir hello from my class from my class i am i am please yeah uh, okay so Uh, one thing uh, i want to know like uh, uh, on the thesis or project uh, is there any uh, eligibility that i i can take uh, the thesis or project or i mean uh, how many semester or how many credits i need to accomplish uh, no no there is also very good question uh, there is just uh, uh, please be mute yourself uh, Uh, I am answering the question of Ami, Amir, Mr. Amir. So, so dear student, mute yourself, dear student. Elias, please mute yourself. Elias, please. Elias.
so dear student uh, now uh, question is uh, how many semesters how many semester you need how many many semester you need to complete the to complete the thesis or project this is very good question but uh, there is no uh, mandatory rules and regulations uh, to complete the thesis and project, how many semesters is needed to complete the thesis and project? But you have to remember that for completing the masters, you will get four years. Maximum four years you will get. This is one obligation. Another one is at least uh, you can complete your master's degree. You can complete your master's degree within three semesters. It is also possible why i am telling you the, uh, this light of statement because our three students uh, completed their master's degree uh, by using only three semesters so it is also possible for example a thesis student can uh, take this opportunity our three students for example uh, two teachers from asanula university lisa and et and one student uh, who is working on now is generation software limited and he also completed his uh, thesis master's degree by three uh, by three semesters so uh, he also uh, he was also a, a thesis student so it is not very difficult to complete the masters within uh, three semesters by using thesis or by project or masters by theory so it is very easy so, but you can take more than three semesters. It is up to you. But I, I am suggesting you uh, to complete the thesis within the shortest time because if you are eligible for the gold medal, in that case, you will consider how many semesters you have taken to complete the master's degree. For example, you and your contestant both takes one takes three semester, one takes uh four semesters who will get the gold medal because the student who completed his master's degree by three semesters he he will be finally eligible for the gold medal so in the case of gold medal selection in that case your number of semester will be counted uh to select the uh, to uh, for the eligibility of the uh, gold medal so there is a uh, definite restriction how many semester uh, you need to take the to complete the master's degree so dear student uh, be careful about number of uh, semesters if you are if you want to get the gold medal and if you are a very good student and if you want to get the gold medal in that case number of semester is also a matter so uh, but there is no definite rules and regulations for how many semesters you need to complete the uh, thesis and project. But according to UI rules, there is a three semesters, written three semesters are there, but uh, sometimes some students take more than three semesters for completing the thesis or project uh, by uh, making application. In that case, uh, our time, thesis or project time will expand. In that case, you can take more than three semesters uh, for completing your thesis and project. But my suggestion is to complete your master's degree within the shortest time, so that uh, master's degree is a special degree, and it is sometimes necessary for your uh, promotion, sometimes for your PhD degree, sometimes for many reasons you need master's degree. For example, some student needs it for Canada, uh, Canada immigration, so because Canada immigration has 15 marks, uh, already many students know. So in that case, dear student, uh, uh, you can, I hope that you can complete your master's degree in the shortest time. Some students uh, sometimes ask me question in the Facebook, uh, sir, where are our master's degrees, WES uh, standard or not? Uh, in this case, my answer is our, uh, to the best of my knowledge, our two or three students already uh, already already got their equivalency certificate from WES Canada. So 
this is uh, i am informing you uh, about our three students maybe uh, one female student two male students already got ws equivalence from canada so this is the uh, this is the information for you but sometimes one thing is uh, confusion may create confusion in our master's degree, not only our master's degree in Buet, uh, Zahanginagar University, Dhaka University, and many places, uh, thesis has no grade. Thesis has no grade. So uh, some of the foreign countries, sometimes uh, they want to get the grade for, for thesis. So in that case, their student apply to UIU, UIU, give you the clarification uh, what is your thesis what is the evaluation procedure of thesis and if your evaluation uh, is like that way in that case how much mark uh, you will get if there is a marking system so we will give you the clarification uh, already I, I gave the clarification to australia and they already expect, uh, accepted our students for PhD degree with full funded. So if you feel any problem in future uh, because of the thesis, because in Bangladesh, in not UIU, in Bangladesh, Buet, uh, Buet, 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 uh, Buet, many places in Bangladesh. So uh, a thesis has no grade, especially, but in our project, we have a grade, but we have no grade for thesis. In the case of thesis, we have satisfactory and not satisfactory just like as good. So dear student, if you feel any problem in future because of uh, no grade of thesis, in that case, please, uh, um, ask, uh, please ask us the question and about, about the clarification of the thesis. In that case, I will give you the clarification of the thesis so that it will be helpful, uh, helpful for you. So dear student, if you have any problem, you can ask me question. Any, any student? Thank you, sir. Sir, I have another question okay. uh, regarding the this sir uh, project. Yes. Um, is there any uh, rules like um, one student can do the thesis, or maybe you need to actually uh, include another one, or maybe group wise, like this kind of a scheme? A group thesis? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, say for I want to do a project. Uh, then do I need to include someone or uh, can do it uh, in masters uh, for the master's degree uh, you have to do everything alone uh, there is no opportunity uh, to make group for thesis or project so the student you have to make your thesis you have to do your thesis or project by yourself uh, you, you are not allowed to include your friends or anybody uh, in your uh, thesis or project group. Only you have to complete it singly. Thank you, sir. Any student, any question regarding our masters or regarding our uh, evaluation procedure or anything. And another thing for your information, our university you, uh, is US ranked university. Uh, this is one thing. Another thing is the, the means times, uh, uh, times uh, ranking also. Uh, we, our university has also times ranking, uh, ranked university. And, and our, uh, especially our BSc program is also IV accredited. Uh, so our, all of the programs are uh, international, uh, accredited so inshallah it will not be problem uh, if you go to uh, foreign countries for phd degree uh, for your information i want to inform you another thing our two students our two masters students faisal kobir and faizul hassan uh, faizul hassan was my mist student also uh, msc ui student he is now teacher assistant professor in america and he completed our, uh, he completed master's degree from UIU. Now he is assistant professor in America. 
another our master's student, master's alumni, uh, Faisal Kabir. He is now also uh, assistant professor in America in a renowned university. So dear student, I hope that you have understood what I am trying to say. It will not be problem if your result is good, if you, if you have good papers, good number of papers, you, if you have quality papers, quality journal or conference paper, uh, in that case, it will not be problem. And if your IELTS score, TOEFL score, GIE score are good, and if you have more, uh, if you have uh, conference paper, internet, uh, ISCBAS index conference paper, and uh, journal paper, in that case, uh, it will not be problem. And uh, this especially I am requesting all of the thesis students uh, to uh, uh, to do a paper or at least one paper with your supervisor, uh, conference or journal paper at least. I am rec uh, recommending you uh, to make at least one paper with your supervisor, uh, uh, supervisor or co-supervisor. Uh, so that it can be helpful for you if you want to do the PhD degree uh, after completing the master's degree in UI. So dear student, I hope that you have understood what, uh, what I am trying to say. And if you have any question, dear student, this is my first class, so you can, uh, you can tell me uh, regarding our master's program or our master's degree. And in near future, if you want to do the PhD degree, what will be happened and what it is needed for you uh, from the master's, master's program. Dear student, uh, do you have any question, dear student? Now I will start my lecture. Sir, I, have a, I have a question, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, if we want to uh, do thesis in another field, like in renewable energy or uh, smart grid system, so is it permissible to uh, do this uh, kind of thesis? Uh, uh, it is not problem, but uh, you our major is we have a total seven measures. I already told you, and if green energy is related to our one of the top or topic, for example, you are data science student, data science major student, so it is mandatory to complete your thesis in data science track. So now question is whether green energy is related to green energy is related to our data science track this is my question but for example uh, you want to uh, survey uh, whether green energy is uh, uh, harmful for our environment or not so if you want to find out this type of topic and if you want to do this one by machine learning. So machine learning is related to data science. So your topic is data science. Your major is data science. So it is okay. Sir, in that case, in that case, sir, if I uh, accommodate all the generation, I mean uh, a renewable energy power plant uh, energy generation, and I want to predict the future generation and the overview of Bangladesh power generation. So uh, from the uh, green energy. So is it permissible uh, to this kind to do this kind of for some part of your thesis should be related to your CSCD uh, to CSC department also to your measures. So uh, it is it is mandatory. Okay, sir. Yes. Okay. Any question, dear student? If you have no question, then in, in that case I will start my lecture. So dear student, now I'll start my lecture. Uh, I'm sharing the page. Dear student, another thing is 
I already told you though. I have told you. Uh, you have to collect your UCAM ID and password from iShaktar. UCAM ID and password from MS iShaktar because uh, your attendance and everything is in U UCAM. Uh, your account, your scholarship, your student loan, your tuition fee waiver, everything is in everything is in UCAM. So you have to know the ID and password for UCAM. Another thing is for ELMS, you have to know the ID and password because our lecture, our all of the lecture notes, our video file, everything, everything is in our ELMS. So you have to know the credentials, all the credentials of uh, ELMS. So dear student, ELMS and UCAM, two separate software. So you have to know the ID and password for each of the softwares. And because both, both softwares are very important for you because in UCAM, your marks, your grading, your uh, scholarship, your payment, everything is in UCAM. And in ELMS, uh, you need password and ID of uh, ELMS because in the ELMS, uh, I will uh, we will uh, we will upload all of the materials, class materials, exam question, everything. I will upload in ELMS. So there are student both software credentials should be needed for you. Uh, so within short time, please collect it from uh, Aisha. And I hope that Aisha will help you. And but you have to knock the Aisha to get those credentials from Aisha. Now, dear student, our course name is data mining. I already told you our uh, our course name is data mining, and course code is CAC six zero one one. In this course, especially. I will uh, emphasize on four things. One thing is I will give you one assignment for city. I will give one assignment, dear student, I will give you one assignment for city. I will give you one project, one project. I will give you one project and I will give you one assignment for midterm and i will give you one assignment for final exam but these four assignments i will give you for my course again dear student i am repeating i will give you four assignments one assignment for city one assignment for midterm and one assignment for final exam and one assignment for project and project project will have two part one part is presentation and you have to, one part is you have to complete your project practical project by using machine learning tool now in this case you have to solve your project i will give you a project list in ELMS and you have to select one project from here from the list. In the case of project, dear student, you can make a group. In this class project, you can make a group because in this course already I have, uh, uh, I have uh, near about 42 students. So, I am requesting all of the students to make a group by yourself and at most seven members are allowed in a group. At most seven members are allowed in a group. So dear student, you can make your group. You can make your own group, uh, but my recommendation is in your group, you should have a programmer. Programmer, that means who are 
who are who have uh, who has specialization in machine learning or machine learning related code so so that he can, he or she can help you so dear student at least one programmer in your group uh, in your group that i recommend so dear student uh, for project you have to make your group and uh, at least one programmer you have to add in your group because in our masters program many programmers are available so uh, you can include you include at least one programmer in your group so that you, your project can be successfully completed so dear student in this course we have we have a uh, we have a project uh, for uh, all the students and but this project you have to complete it by using group so dear student so one thing is city assignment one thing is mid assignment one thing is project assignment one thing is final exam assignment so dear student four assignments you have to complete for this course so now dear student uh, this is our data mining course uh, so i will start uh, introductory my introductory class uh, especially you have to remember that especially you have to remember that this course is mathematical type course not very difficult mathematics easy mathematics but you have to understand all of the mathematics because data mining relates to machine learning by using machine learning tool we mine the data we mine the data from the data source so dear student to mine the data from the data source we need machine learning tool and many ai tool and many machine learning tool so you have to understand the mathematics but math all of the mathematics are very simple mathematics i hope that you will understand the all of the mathematics very easily but you have to attend all of my classes so that you can understand uh, mathematics very well so it is not very difficult i already told you please uh, try to understand uh, in my class and uh, submit all of the assignments in due time so i hope that you will be able to get the better marks so now dear student uh, i am at first talking about the data mining what is data mining that means the many data sources are available many data sources are available what is the data source our social media is a data source our database our database our office database there are many data and in the social media linkedin facebook twitter there are a lots of data huge data we have in the web the student in the web we have a lots of data we have a lots of images so dear student a lot of data sources are available we want to get the important information from the data source we want to get the important inf information from the data source so lot of data sources are available social media is a data source our office database has a data source and our web web is a data source our many image files are data source so we are student many data sources are available here and there so we can mine the data from all of the data sources we want to mine or mine data from the data sources we want to get the important information important statistical information from the data source now you may have a question dear student what type of important information for example our student our uh, our class has many students uh, almost 42 students in the, in my class 38 students uh, 30, 37 students excluding me so dear student uh, in this student if we analyze the characteristics of, of all of the student there are three types of students some students are very very good students some students are mediocre students some students are uh, uh, some students are uh, third category students so dear student three types of student we have uh, we have so we can cluster the uh, cluster our students based on their quality 
we can cluster our students based on their quality because we have a very good student, mediocre student, and third category student. So many types, uh, three types of students are available. So we can cluster using K-mean cluster. So uh, this is also a their student. This is also a data mining because here uh, our uh, objective is to get uh, is to find out who are the good students, who are the mediocre students, and who are the third category students. So their student, uh, this is also our finding. So this type of their student, uh, this is also data mining part. So uh, we have a lot of data sources. I already told you social media is a data source and our database, office database is a data source. Our uh, web is a data source and many images are available. Many videos, images are also available uh, in our practical life. It is also a data source. So dear student, we have many data sources. From those data sources, we want to get the, we want to find out the important statistical information, hidden information inside the data source. So how can I find out the important information, important hidden information from the data source? So dear student, that is the important and the mechanism through which I can get the important information from the data source, that is data mining. That is data mining, dear student. Here, to mine the data, we'll use the AI-based model or we'll use the machine learning-based model. So, dear student, machine learning-based model or AI-based model we'll use to get the important information, important statistical information. So, that is the data mining, dear student. Now, dear student, here I have written extraction of useful patterns from the data sources. That means I want to get the special information, special pattern from the data source. Dear student, for example, we have a uh, biometric uh, data source. We want to get our na national ID. Our na national ID is also a database, dear student. Here are our fingerprint available. Our fingerprint available, our, our eye, our Irish, our Irish image is available our information, our father's name, mother's name, birth date, many information are available. So dear student, from that information, which is the important information for me? For example, our birth date is important information. Our fingerprint is important information. Our eye image is important information. So uh, many important information are available in our national database regarding us. So dear student, uh, uh, those are the patterns. Uh, we need to find out the patterns from the data source. Uh, here extraction, what is data mining? Extraction of useful patterns from our data source. So from data source, dear student, we want to get the important information, important pattern, import, important statistical information from the data. So that I want to find out. That is the data mining. That is the data mining, dear student. Now, what is the pattern characteristics here? I have written pattern characteristics valid, novel, potentially useful, uh, understandable. So, dear student, this is the characteristics of the pattern. Which type of data we need? Which type of data we need? First one is valid. It should be valid information and it should be novel information and potentially useful and understandable. This is the four characteristics of pattern, important pattern because we, uh, we, are, we are finding the pattern inside the data. Finding a pattern, important pattern dear student. What is the important, what is the definition of important? Because it should be valid, it should be novel, it should be useful and it should be understandable. So dear student, these four characteristics for patterns you need because we are finding the pattern from the data. So data mining is called the knowledge discovery and data mining. Knowledge discovery, dear student, knowledge discovery and data mining or KDD. That, that is the another name of data mining. 
data mining is called the knowledge discovery and data mining so dear student now here knowledge discovery in data how can i find out the knowledge at first there is a data dear student i have draw some container i have draw some container uh, because uh, my slide is uh, uh, visible from your side there is some container this is the data using data mining technique dear student i will find out the patterns important patterns already i told you pattern should be valid pattern should be novel and potentially useful and understandable so patterns i will find out the patterns after patterns after getting the patterns i will evaluate the patterns i will evaluate i will interpret the patterns whether the, these patterns are important whether these patterns are um, uh, important to solve my problem so that uh, i i will find out the accuracy i will find out the accuracy dear student i will evaluate the pattern and from the pattern dear student if those pattern are important those those pattern are very good in that case i will get out the knowledge i will get out the knowledge from the pattern and i will repeat this procedure and again and again so dear student this is the process the process diagram this is the process diagram of data mining so dear student here three things is important what is data mining what is the characteristics of a pattern and what is the process diagram of data mining dear student if you have any problem to understand what is data mining what is pattern characteristics and what is the uh, process of data mining please ask me question dear student in the first page if you have any question please ask me question dear student Yes, student. Do you have any question? What is data mining? Hello, hello sir. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum, sir. Please. Hello. Okay, I am hearing. Please. Yes, sir. What does it mean by novel characteristic? Uh, novel, uh, novel corona. What is the meaning of novel corona? Now, uh, COVID period is continuing. What is the novel corona? Why corona is called novel? Because it is new. In this case, in this case, your pattern should be new. It is not conventional. It is not traditional. because if you take the traditional data you, if you take the traditional feature in that case uh, you cannot extract your important information or knowledge from the data so data so your feature should be new uh, for example i can give you an example in the text mining for example in the case of text mining text mining in the case of text mining for example a conference paper you have you have a conference paper you have a journal paper in the journal paper many words are available every words are important no every words are not important because there are some keywords there are some keywords inside the data those uh, those are very important for you for example my paper is related to machine learning so uh, machine learning neural networks related for example so in that case which are the keywords for example in that case uh, my keyword uh, is machine learning maybe machine learning my keyword may be Uh, artificial neural network my keyword may be data mining my keyword may be knowledge those type of information available inside my paper so uh, four or five keywords are very important uh, inside your papers so you have to extract the novel information new information that information is new for you that information is valuable that information is useful for you so all of the information inside a paper is not important for you some information are very important some information are, are not very important some information you can discard and some information you can use so you have to extract the novel information from the papers so dear student new information effective information you have to use from the papers so uh, like data text is also data so from data from database you have to extract the novel information valid information useful information and understandable information thank yes. you sir okay yes student any problem to understand assalamu uh, sir assalam uh, sir why we are we are repeating the knowledge discovery uh, stake uh, sometimes uh, repeating because for example in the case of in my phd uh if you uh, 
uh, I can give you an example during my uh, during my PhD when my neural network accuracy is near about 60 percent. In that case, I have analyzed the output data. Output data that I have got from data mining tool or machine learning tool. After getting the output, I have analyzed why my result is near about 60 percent. Why not it is 100%? Why not it is 90%? My only uh, output result is 60%. In that case, I have analyzed my re result. Because why my uh, result is 60%? I have found out that, I have found that my some pattern, some, uh, some pattern machine learning tool cannot understand. So I have found out those patterns and Repeatedly, repeatedly, I have trained the machine learning tool by using those patterns which did not understand by the machine previously. So after including those patterns, my accuracy, my phoneme recognizer accuracy was 77%. Whereas when I did not repeat the process, in that case, my accuracy was only 60%. So after analyzing my output data, after analyzing the output patterns, and then I have gathered the knowledge, and that knowledge I have integrated inside my data, and from that data, I have retained my machine learning tools, and I have got the data data. So because of that, you have to repeat the process, because after gathering the knowledge, then you can input your knowledge inside the data and then retain the machine learning tool or data mining tool and you will get the better result. Do you understand me, dear students? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I am in Bangladeshi. I don't know how many of you are students. Because of that, uh, most of the time I will speak in English, but I am in Bangladeshi. Amar PG Shomoy, Ami Hosit Prothome de Clamje, Amar Machine Learning Tool use for Ami accuracy by AC sixty per cent. Tokon Amar Matamo de Hedekosi, Ami sixty per cent to the hoy, Talama PG degree part a difficult result. Taholami account in the column the Lekiba, Ami Arabeta result Pavo, Amigeta column, Amar data output data analysis for a shokula. Output data analysis for a Ami knowledge gather column, key knowledge gather column. আমি দেখলাম যে আমার কোন কোন প্যাটার্নগুলোকে সে চিনতে পারেনি যে যে প্যাটার্নগুলোকে চিনতে পারেনি ওই প্যাটার্নগুলোকে দিয়ে আমি কিন্তু আবার রিট্রেনিং করেছি মেশিন লার্নিং টুলকে এতে যেটা হইছে আমার রেজাল্ট অ্যাকিউরেসি প্রায় 77% এর মত চলে আসে আমি যেটা বলতে যাচ্ছি যে ইফ ইউ ইন্টিগ্রেট দা নলেজ ইউ ইফ ইউ ইন্টিগ্রেট দা আউটপুট নলেজ uh, during the time of retraining, in that case, you may have a good result. So, dear student, so sometimes knowledge integration should be inserted inside the data so that you can retain the model and you can get the better result. Do you understand me, dear student? Every student is clear what I am trying to say. আমার ক্লাসের লোক কোনো লজ্জার কিছু নাই আপনি বলতে পারেন আমার সাথে ইন্টারঅ্যাকটিভ হবে ভালো শিখতে পারবে যদি আমার সাথে ইন্টারঅ্যাকটিভ না হন তাহলে সে ক্ষেত্রে সমস্যা আমার সাথে ইন্টারঅ্যাকটিভ হন চেষ্টা করে কারণ প্রথমে লেকচারটাই হচ্ছে যে থিওরিটিক্যাল টাইপের পরে লেকচারগুলো সবই ম্যাথমেটিক্যাল টাইপের সুতরাং হচ্ছে যে পর পরেগুলোতে কিন্তু হচ্ছে যে আপনাকে বোঝানো সহজ কিন্তু প্রথম দিকে যেহেতু থিওরিটিক্যাল টাইপের সুতরাং এখানে কিন্তু আপনাকে বলতে হবে যে হলো মানে হচ্ছে না বুঝলে বলতে হবে যে স্যার আমি বুঝি না এখানে আজ বলে Dear student, if you have any question, please ask me. Dear student. No, sir. It's okay. Now, dear student, the usefulness of data mining. I am talking about now usefulness of data mining. This is our second phase. Now, usefulness of data mining. So, uh, though my scanning is very heavy, but I am trying to say something about this phase. Uh, upper part is the very heavy, but I will uh, read the upper part and then 
I will give you concept. Uh, usefulness of data mining. Uh, first point is market analysis and management. What kind of people buy what kind of products? First line is this one. First bullet point is their student. What kind of people buy what kind of products? This is the first point. Association and correlation between product sales customer purchasing pattern and summary reports. This is the first four bullet points. And second one is corporate analysis and risk management, cash flow analysis, monitoring compet competitors and market directions. Uh, last one is fraud detection, credit card service fraud. There is student here I have written the data mining usefulness. So uh, in concise form, in brief form, if I want to say, what is the use of data mining? In the many places, in the many positions, in the many fields, we can use the data mining. In the hospital, in the hospital, we can find out, uh, we can use my data mining technique. We can find out whether which type of patient are available in this hospital. And in the, for example, the data in the case of diabetes patient, you can find out whether E characteristics of this patient is like this. In that case, whether this patient has a diabetes or not. E, for example, if this type of symptoms are available in that case, this is the heart attack, heart attack patient, or not heart attack, uh, not heart, heart attack patient. You can find out the whether this patient will uh, have a uh, previous, this patient have a brain stroke or not. You can find out that, uh, that one by using the characteristics of the patient. For example, you can find out the, you can analyze the market. For example, which type of customers buy which type of products. So for example, uh, you can find out the customer purchasing pattern. And you can find out the cash flow analysis. Cash flow analysis means, dear student, what is the uh, financial health of your organization? Whether it is bad, whether it is good, and whether, uh, whether you have liabilities, and whether you have uh, profit, and, uh, and you can find out many things from the, uh, uh, from the market analysis by using data mining tool. Whether the stock market, for example, you can uh, you can analyze the stock market. Whether the, this is the up situation or uh, or down situation, you can find out by using by analyzing data using machine learning tool or data mining tool. So, dear student, you can analyze the data. You can forecast the data. Whether in future, what you have to be the uh, start status of a stock market, you can find out by using the data mining tool. And another one is sometimes their student, uh, some, uh, sometimes the credit card uh, prudence occurs. So you can find out the credit card prudence by using the data mining tool. So dear student here, I have written some usefulness of data mining tool. I have already told you in the marketplace, uh, you can find, you can use the data mining tool in the market to find out uh, whether it is a profitable, uh, profitable project whether it is the, uh, it is, uh, it, uh, you will be loser, and whether, uh, what is the uh, pattern of customers, what, uh, what, uh, what types of uh, products yeah, a customer will buy. You can, uh, you can analyze, uh, for example, in uh, now business analysis, uh, for, uh, for analyzing the business, you can, uh, for example, for business intelligence, BI tool, uh, Power BI, uh, BI yeah, different types of tools. There are tools available, Power BI, and different types of tools are available to analyze the business, uh, to analyze the market. So dear student, you can analyze the market, what will be the pattern, what will be the future pattern that the customer will accept. So those patterns you can analyze. And you can analyze the financial status of your, um, of your organization that is uh, called cash flow analysis. And, uh, and you can analyze what is the uh, future 
market what 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 will be the uh, uh, what will be the competitors who are the competitors in near future uh, in the market you can find out by you can analyze those things by using data mining tools and sometimes uh, our credit card fraudulence offers that you can find out uh, during, uh, using the data mining tool another thing is you uh, now covid period dear student uh, you can analyze the covid patient and what will be the uh, medicine uh, especially bioinformatics in the bioinformatics where uh, a medicine is invented uh, you can use the machine learning tool uh, to invent a medicine so dear student uh, many places you can use the data mining tool to find out the important information to invent some medicine to invent to analyze the market uh, to uh, in where to find out the fraudulence uh, action by the some uh, fraud so dear student do you understand what is the usefulness of data mining why you will use the data mining tool dear yes, student uh, if you have any question please ask me dear student so here i have written uh, many examples here dear student i have given a practical examples their customer one likes pizza beer cheese bread chips customer two likes milk bread ham cigarettes and customer three yogurt and sugar flour corn flakes napkins similarly customer four likes shampoo beer chips newspaper and pizza customer 5 likes chips coffee beer pizza and cream customer 6 uh, likes uh, jam rolls and butter and beer now dear student i want to find out the correlation correlation among the products there are correlations among pizza beer and chips dear student when pizza beer pizza beer and chips when there is uh, pizza and beer in that case there is a chips so beer chips pizza chips beer pizza so dear student here we have that means pizza beer chips beer chips pizza chips beer pizza these three products are correlated so we can find out the correlation uh, using the a priori algorithm dear student i will tell you what is the a priori algorithm using a priori algorithm you can find a correlation you can find a correlation among the products among the uh, different products that are available and that are uh, that are bought by the customers so dear yes, student you can find out the correlation among the products by using a priori algorithm what is a priori algorithm that i will tell you that i i, I will tell you later dear student later i will tell you uh, what is how a priori algorithm works so dear student this uh, uh, here i have given an example uh, here i want to find out the correlation among products that mean pizza beer and chips are correlated pizza beer chips beer pizza uh, chips chips beer and pizza these three things are uh, correlated that i have found from this example so dear student this type of correlation i can i can uh, find from the uh, product analysis from the product analysis those products are bought by the customers different types of customers and we can find out the behavior of the customers by analyzing the uh, this uh, by analyzing a priori algorithm and uh, after one or two lectures i will tell you how Uh, mathematically i will show you how uh, a priori algorithm works the student any problem to understand this example any problem to understand this example dear student if you have any problem to understand this example please ask me question dear student dear student any problem no sir no no now uh, this page is finished now i will talk about another now dear students 
uh, our main concern is data our main concern is data dear student data is very important data is, but in bangladesh it is very difficult to get the data no one help us to get the data if you go to hospital doctors are not interested to give you the data and uh, nurses are not in the interested to give you the data and if you go to uh, for example in the mobile company they are not interested to give you the data so in bangladesh it is very difficult to get the data so our data is the main concern they are student without data we cannot do anything so data is very uh, valuable thing. data is very very old dear student because if you get the data now many machine learning tools are available deep learning support vector machine artificial neural network nearest neighbor k nearest neighbor then uh, a priori algorithm k mean clustering many machine learning tools are available and built in machine learning tools are available it is not needed to know many about uh, uh, to know about the programming but it is not political science student in mit now uses a machine learning tool can you imagine dear student machine, uh, political science student they are not science background student but they are using a machine learning tool to analyze the political situation of america so it is very easy now dear student because all machine learning tools are here and there machine learning tools are available and built in machine learning tools are available if you give the data and you will get the result but it is not needed to know the programming without knowing the programming you can run the machine learning tool you can analyze the data using machine learning tool so but data is very important there student now problem is data so you have to uh, find out the data you have to collect the data from many sources you have to collect you have to collect your own data but sometimes uh, and data can be uh, collected from kaggle and uh, from many standard uh, places we have uh, in the oaf from fire we can collect our data but all of the data are not available sometimes data data is sparsity problem data cannot uh, we cannot get data that is called a uh, small size of data available that is called data is sparsity problem because of data is sparsity problem dear student we cannot uh, we cannot um, uh, we cannot run our machine learning tool on the data so dear student that is very problem so data is very important now i am working in ict ministry project uh, on bangla pra, on bangla language processing dear student we have no standard corpus for bangla we have no standard corpus for bangla standard database for uh, bangla so now dear student government our government uh, launched a project that that uh, valued 23 crore taka for only for uh, preparing a uh, bangla corpus only preparing a bangla corpus dear student i went to unesco for uh, uh, for uh, giving a speech on language processing in that case in the unesco there is a decision at first we need corpus at first we need corpus that means data is very important dear student if you have data research will be continued if you have data innovation will be continued but if you have no data in that case it is problem so dear student it is badly needed to collect the data but some problems are some problems are available uh, during the time of collecting the data so dear student what is the that problem one data is uh, one is data volume big data and small data you know about the big data dear student and big data has many problem big data has many problem dear student what is the problem in the case of big data dear student you have to apply the parallel processing because computer computation time is very important in the case of big data so in that case dear student you have to make the parallel processing 
you have to apply. You have to apply the CPU machine. You have, I know that you heard about the CPU machine. GPU machine you have to apply to process the big data because if you have big data in that case processing time will be should be first time. Processing time should be first time because there are varieties of data, there is a velocity of data, so many things, many characteristics of big data have. So dear student, you have to uh, you have to apply the parallel processing tool, you have to apply the faster tool you have to apply the faster tool, parallel processing tool uh, uh, in the, uh, to process the big data. So dear student, this is very important thing because big data uh, the has, uh, data has many dimensionality, many properties big data has. So dear student, to process the big data, uh, machine will be slower. So how to get rid of from the uh, slowness of machine? In that case, you have to apply the parallel processing you have to apply the GPU machine so that you can get your output within the short time. So dear student, big data is problem because of processing, because of computation time. But another thing is dear student, small data. Small data is also a problem. Dear student, why small data is a problem? First thing is if you want to make the training, if you want to make the training, if you want to make the training, the, uh, uh, make the training, to the machine, uh, what will be problem? Machine will be overfitted. Machine will be overfitted, dear student, because it's small number of data you have. So if you training the, if you train the machine, machine will be overfitted. If you, uh, if machine will be overfitted in that case, uh, if you give uh, different types of data as test data, in that case, machine will give you the uh, bad result because you training data was small. Because your training data was small, if you tested the machine by using the uh, different data, in that case, machine will give you the bad result. Because machine is overfitted now because of a small data. Because of a small data, dear student, machine is overfitted now. So the dear student, to get rid of overfitted problem, you have to uh, you have to train the machine by using the considerable amount of data. So dear student data, if small data, that is problem because machine will be overfitted, that is a problem. If you data is, if you have large, if you, uh, if you have big data in that case, uh, to handle the big data, you need the uh, processing speed, you need the uh, GPU machine and you need, need the faster machine. So dear student, big data is problem, small data is uh, problem. So dear student, you need parallel processing to handle the big data and you need um, uh, small data may create overfitted problem. To get rid of overfitted problem, dear student, you have to use the considerable amount of data so that machine will not be overfitted. If machine is overfitted, in that case, uh, if you give the, if you test the machine, if you test the machine by using different data, different category data, in that case, machine will give you the bad data. So dear student, big data is problem, small data is problem. Now dear student, another thing is velocity of the data. What is velocity of the data, velocity of the data? There is data stream and static data. Uh, you can think dear student video, for example, video, you can think about the video. Video is the data stream. There is a dynamic, dynamically video is changed. So data is changed. So dear student, there is data stream, the data stream in the video, and in that case, data is continuously changed. Another is static data. For example, dear student, think about our still photo. There, that is static data, dear student. So static data, how can you handle the static data? How can you handle the video? How can you uh, handle the dynamic data? That is very important because data, if data has a velocity, in that case, how can you handle the data? If data has no velocity, uh, velocity, that means your data is static. In that case, how can you handle your data? So velocity is also, dear student, very important. Sometimes you have to consider the uh, velocity. Sometimes you have to come, uh, con, uh, uh, you have to consider the acceleration coefficient. So dear student, sometimes velocity, sometimes acceleration coefficient. You have to consider. You have to consider. Now you may have a question, dear student. How can we handle the 
data which have a velocity for example how can you handle the data which uh, 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 handle the data for example video how can handle the video in the case of video you have to segment the data you have to segment the data you have to make the data in the static way you have to make the data in the static way you have for example you have to make frame, framing you have to make framing dear student you have to you have to declare the window you have to make window you have to declare the window and inside the window you have assumed that your data is static so dear student velocity is very important because if data is velocity for example like as video in the case of video for example data is continuously changed with respect to time with respect to time dear student our data is changes so you have to consider the velocity and acceleration coefficient of the data and another thing is for example you can think about the still photo that is the static data dear student static data you can think another thing is dear student in the case of for example sound sound is also a dynamically changed data dear student with respect to time my species changes my tone is changes my my species changes so dear student my uh, uh, my uh, characteristics of my sound is changes so dear student velocity of my uh, speech that means acceleration coefficient at my uh, acceleration and velocity is changes with respect to time so dear student dynamically my sound is also changes video is changes but if for example you can consider the still photo in that case that data is static data so dear student velocity is very important acceleration coefficient is very important uh, in the case of data you have to consider when you process the data you have to consider the velocity and acceleration coefficient of the data and you have to process the data and before uh, inserting the machine learning tool or ai tool you have to process the data you have to extract the important information by using data mining technique now dear student another thing is varieties of the data varieties of the data here i have written varieties of the data the student i have written varieties what is variety transaction data may be transactional data for example transaction data means your office database there are for example you have a database that contains name id uh, your father's name and for example you are you are doing banking job in that case uh, savings account number current account number or many many numbers you have so dear student all of the data are structured data that is the transactional data dear student transactional data that means record based data database data so dear student this is the graph data or transactional data or record based data in that case dear student data are structured another another one is temporal data dear student temporal data that means the uh, data is changed with respect to time data is changed with respect to time for example dear student you can think the rainfall data for example uh, when the winter season dear student no rain in bangladesh uh, almost no rain in bangladesh but when uh, boishak uh, uh, boishak the month of bangali month boishak appears in that case uh, our rain is started so dear student in the bangali month ashar in that case uh, huge rain so dear student with respect to time our uh, rainfall uh, the amount of rainfall uh, increases or decreases so this is a temporal data because with respect to time temporal means dear student with respect to time our uh, the amount of rainfall increases or decreases so this is the temporal data another data is dear student spatial data what is spatial data spatial data means space related data for example dear student now covid is uh covid is continuing covid is in company uh, continuing some places of the world uh huge uh, huge number of people are affected by covid but but in some places of the world uh this if uh, the uh, effect of this covid is less so we are student this is the uh, special data because uh, with respect to space space with respect to location this covid is uh, uh covid uh, affected people are less with respect to space covid uh, affected place uh, covid affected uh, patients are uh, very large so dear student this is the uh, spatial related data i can give you another example for example crops 
uh, for example, crops, you can think about the crop. For example, mango, especially mango, uh, Russia district, Russia district produces more mango, but other districts of the Bangladesh uh, have less number of mango produce. So they are student, uh, this is the special data. For example, Noakhali, there is a coconut, coconut, uh, coconut. Uh, this is the, uh, uh, Noakhali produces huge number of coconut in India. So this is the real student uh, space related data. For example, we can uh, give you another example, uh, Pedi. Uh, Pedi, Zwaidipur is especially special, is special for Pedi. So dear student, this is a special data. That means based on the location, based on the location, this product is, this product is, this, uh, this data is, uh, depends on. So special data depends on place and temporal data depends on time. And transaction data, dear student, this is the record-based data. For example, your database data, your uh, uh, graph-related data, or your record-based related data. So dear student, here I have given a variety of data. I am talking about the variety of data. Dear student, if you have any question related to this diagram, please ask me question. Dear student, if you have any problem to understand uh, this figure, and please ask me question. Dear student. Dear student, any problem to understand this diagram? What is velocity? What is variety? What is big data? What is small data? Why data stream is needed? Why static data is needed? Why to what is transactional data? What is temporal data? What is spatial data? If you have any problem, dear student, please ask me question. Dear student, any problem? I hope that you have no problem. Now, dear student, I am giving you some examples of data because our, our subject name is data mining. At first, I have to know what is data because data is very important. I already told you. If you have data, it is very difficult to get the data mining technique. So, dear student, transactional data. Here, I have given, a, given an example for transaction related data. I already told you transaction related data is database related data that means structural data structural data we are student structured query language you have no and you also know the unstructured query language so dear student this is the structural data the transaction data that is structural data there are some record there is student record number one record number two record number three record number four record number five we have five records dear student we have five records one two, three, four, five records we have. This is the first record we are student. Uh, here we have A1, A2, A3. A1, A2, A3 are attributes. What is attributes? For example, your name. A1 is your name. A2 is your ID. For example, A3 is your birthday. For example, dear student, again I am talking about the, what is A1, A2, A3. A1, for example, A1 is, A1 is first attribute. A1 means, for example, your name, A2 is your student ID, A3 is your birth date, for example. So A1, A2, A3 are attributes. A1, A2, and A3 are attributes. And their student, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, those are called the objects. Objects, and here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have five records. We have five records, their students, we have five records. We have five records, and here we have also five objects, and uh, A1, A2, A3 are attributes. So A1, for example, A1 is name, A2 is your ID, A3 is your birth date. So dear student, for example, A1, small A1 means your name. For example, your name is, uh, uh, your name is Ruby, and B1 is your, for example, B1 is your ID, 012 something, and A3 is your birth date. So they are student like this way, I have written here, I have written a transactional data. Dear yeah, student, uh, do you understand what is transactional data? Dear yeah, student, do you understand what is transactional data? Yes, sir. Yeah, transactional sir will you please repeat again? Uh, uh, transactional data, data means you structure data, you database. Just you database, you database contains some table. 
in your database there is student in your database you have some table so in the table uh, many uh, attributes are there for example a1 means our name a2 means our student id a3 means our date of birth a1 means our name a2 means uh, our student id your student id a3 means for example your birth date of birth and here i have one two three four five records and for example this is a table this is a table and for example our database contains a table and a1 a2 a3 are called attributes and here we have five uh, five records one two three four five records we have those records are called the objects so dear student do you understand what i am trying to say yeah yes sir yes sir <laughs> Very yes, sir. Easy. Because it is, if you know the database concept, this is the table, and table contains attributes and records. Now, dear student, here are types of data: record data. Or I already told you records data. That is called transactional data. Here I have given a, a example using the table. Here I have given an example using a table. Uh, dear student, you have to understand those things very clearly because I will give you assignment. So if I give you, uh, if you want to write a example of transactional data, you have to give this example. Uh, you have to write your own example. So dear student, you have to understand how this transactional data. Transactional data means record-based data. That means there should have a table, and uh, a database contains may contain more than one table. May contain one table. So one table or more than one table, a database may contain. And those data in the table are transactional data. That I have given you an example. And temporal data, dear student, already I told you what is temporal data. Maybe time series data, maybe sequence data. Temporal data. Time series data. What is time series data? For example, weather. Uh, uh, we can uh, consider about the weather, dear student. For example, our last three days. For example, uh, rain happening. Rain happening from the last three days. Now my prediction is whether today uh, rain will be happening or not. This is the time series data, dear student, because today two days data to whether today rain will be happening or not depends on the previous three days data. This is the time series data, dear student. This is the time series data. Time series data to predict and to get the statistical information about the system. So time series data is very important. I have given you an example. For example, weather data. Yes, student. For example, May. Uh, for example, health related data. For example, in the previous days, you have fever, you have cough, you have many other symptoms. Now uh, today, I I will predict whether you have a COVID or not. So COVID now COVID depends on your previous history of data. So dear yes, student, this is the time series data. So another one is their student sequence data. What is sequence data? Sequence data that means their student here. Uh, you have to follow a sequence. For example, COVID. COVID virus has a genome sequence. So depends on the genome sequence, their student it uh, it changes its characteristics. For example, sometimes now we are hearing uh, in near future alpha variant will uh, will come. Alpha variant of COVID will come. So how alpha variant will come? Because it changes its, its genome sequence. It uh, changes. It will change its genome sequence. COVID will change its genome sequence by changing its genome sequence. Then it will uh, its effectiveness will be severe or less. So the uh, the student genome sequence uh, to invent the medicine of uh, medicine of COVID. It is badly needed to get the genome sequence of data because genome sequence is very important. Our uh, genome sequence of virus, COVID virus, is very important to know to invent the medicine because genome sequence data is very important. So genome sequence, because now COVID is changing its characteristic by using mutation. Mutation by using mutation, it changes the genome sequence, and because of that, it is very difficult to find uh, to invent the medicine. In the medicine, so their student genome genome sequence is a sequence data. Another thing, I, uh, another example, I can give you sequence data. For example, uh, if 
for example if night uh, night uh, uh, swearing then there is student for example you have fever then we can tell you that it is anemia disease so a disease has a previous history dear student some sequence uh, a disease sometimes some uh, follow some sequence so dear student based on that sequence you can tell that this is the uh, this disease this disease this patient contains this disease this patient carries uh, this disease so sometimes the disease uh, follows the sequence pattern so dear student here i have given uh, here temporal i am talking about the temporal data temporal data means time series data dear student at first time series data i told you the time series data for example today uh, whether rain will be happened or not that that depends on the history of the previous day because previous for example previous four days whether rain happening or not that depends uh, uh, depends on that today whether rain will be happened or not that depends on the previous history for example market stock market analysis in that case uh, in the trend of the previous days uh, based on the previous days you can predict you can predict what will be the uh, whether a market will a market will rise or fall that depends on the Previous uh, stock market previous data, so we can predict the stock market by using the time series data. So the student another one is the graph data. I have already told you the uh, transactional data. Transactional data is called the graph data. Why graph data? I will give you the example in the later uh, in the later slide. So the student here uh, another one is spatial and spatial temporal data. is what is special data dear student i have already told you what is special data uh, special data that means that means space related data that means location related data for example dear student i already told you what is special data for example now covid are continuing uh, in the whole world some countries uh, its effect is severe some countries its effect is uh, lower so dear student the data depends on the different countries so this data is special data because based on the special location there is based on special or location that means data is changes that means you have got different types of data and different by uh, different uh, different variants of that covid so dear student data depends uh, on location and i have given you another example for example you can think about the crop different types of crop because different types of crop um, produced by the different district of the bangladesh but not every district uh, gets the better results because pedi pedi jade pur produces the pedi in his huge amount but in the case of for example noakali that uh, that produces the uh, coconut uh, heavy and for example and uh, rashahi mango produces uh, in huge amount so dear student that data is special data because data depends on the location uh, now is spe spatio temporal data dear student what is spatio temporal data for example you are uh, flying using the airplane in the airplane dear student when we are uh, making our journey by using the airplane in that case dear student the position of airplane uh, changes with respect to time and location in, with respect to time and location so dear student that is the spatio temporal data because with respect to time and is with respect to location and your airplane movement the movement of your airplane it changes with respect to time and space so dear student that is the spatio temporal data so spatio temporal data is also very important that means the data changes with respect to time and space another one is the student unstructured data unstructured data if i i can give you the example of uh, unstructured data for example our uh, uh, facebook data dear student there are facebook data our linkedin data uh, because in the uh, facebook in the linkedin we are not following particular syntax uh, we are not follow some Uh, guidance, but we are writing uh, 
uh, writing by ourselves, sometimes Bangladesh, sometimes uh, some uh, some uh, language, some Balga language we have used. Sometimes we have uh, written uh, different things. So dear student, our uh, web page data, our, our uh, Facebook data, dear student, our Facebook data is unstructured data. Facebook, LinkedIn data, Twitter data, those data, unstructured data. Because in the we did not follow any uh, grammar. We did not follow any rules and regulations when we have writing, when we have written the uh, written in the Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn. So, dear student, we did not follow the particular grammar. We did not follow the rules and regulations when we have or when we write in the Facebook that that data is unstructured data. So, dear student, now semi structured data. Sometimes here I have given an example. Uh, paper publication data and HTML format. If you know about the conference and journal, uh, journal in that case, there are student. Uh, uh, we have uh, there are some data are structured and some data are unstructured. So there are student structured and both unstructured data we have used in our paper in our publication. Sometimes the student uh, here I have written HTML format. So HTML format is also a semi-structured data. We have semi-structured data. But transactional data is there is uh, student structured data because some features are there. We have name, ID, ID birth date. That means we have features. So transactional data is uh, structured data. So, uh, transactional data is structured data. Dear student, here I have given an example of transactional data. Here I have given an example. So dear student, do you have any question in this space? If you have any problem to understand this page, dear student, please ask me question. Dear student, do you have any question, please? Dear student, any problem to understand example of any data? Uh, no, sir. No, no, problem. no. no sir. Okay. Now I will go for the next uh, phase. Sir, hello. Yes, please. Sir, here is spatial temporal data, sir. Here is time and location. Do you have to base the space on the base of the spatial temporal? So, what is the time and location of the data? Here is longitude and latitude. Here is longitude and latitude. Longitude and latitude. Longitude and latitude. Longitude and latitude. Time and uh, everything will work. And in that case, for example, you can think about the aeroplane. Uh, if you fly in the aeroplane, in that case, the height of the aeroplane, the speed of the uh, aeroplane will be changed with respect to time, with respect to location. For example, you are in turbulence of air. In that case, uh, there is a turbulence of air. In that case, the speed of the aeroplane will be, uh, should be changed. Otherwise, uh, accident will be happen. Do you understand me? So yes, speed and uh, longitude, latitude, time, everything uh, based on that, uh, your aeroplane speed you should be changed. So the, the data is the uh, uh, spatial temporal data. Okay, sir. Now the student here, I have given a, you have to make a data matrix. How you can find the data matrix? Uh, you have to understand this one. For example, dear student, we have five, three documents we have. Document one, document two, document three. For example, document one is sports related. Document two is also sports related. Document three is also sports related. Sports related document, dear student. Here we have a sports related document. In the document one, for example, team, the word team, it, it, has, uh, it has occurred for three times. And document one uh, contains no quotes. The word quotes is not available in the document one. In the document one, we have the word play. The word play, the document one contains for five times. For example, document one contains ball for zero times. Score, for example, document one contains the word score for two times. Document one contains the word game for six times. Document one contains the win for zero times. Document one contains the word lost 
for two times. The document one contains the word turn out, uh, uh, turn out for zero time. Uh, sorry, turn, not turn, turn out, time out, time out for zero time. Document one contains the season, the word season contains for two time. Similarly, dear student, document two contains team for zero time, post for seven times, play for zero times, golf for two times, score for one times, game for zero times, win for zero times, lost for three times, and time out for zero times, and season for zero times. Similarly, for uh, document three that are given. So, dear student, how I have made, how I have constructed this data matrix. Here, I have given you three documents. One is document one, document two, document three. I have given you three uh, sports-related documents I have given. And from that document, you have, you have at first you have to search the document. And the word team, word team, how many times the word team occurs? How many times the word coach occurs? How many times the word play occurs? How many times the word ball occurs? How many times the uh, word score occurs? How many times the word game occurs? How many times the word win occurs? How many times the word lost occurs? How many word the times the word time out occurs? And how many how many times the word season occurs? So dear students, you have to just search. You have to start, just search from the document and you have to write how many times this word occurs. So uh, I, have, I have written, I have constructed this table from three documents that documents are given to me. And using those three documents, I have built this data matrix. Dear student, do you know how to uh, find out this data matrix? How to construct this data matrix? Dear student. No, sir. Uh, now dear student, if you have any question, uh, how to construct this data matrix? Because uh, I will give you assignment, city assignment from the city assignment. Uh, in the city assignment, uh, there is a question uh, to make this type of data matrix. So if you do not understand uh, how to construct this data matrix, because I will give you city assignment uh, within uh, after two uh, classes, then uh, in the city assignment, this type of question is available. If you uh, if you do not understand uh, how to how to construct the data matrix. <coughs> from the document, uh, please ask me question. Dear student, do you understand how to construct the data matrix? <coughs> because I will give you assignment, dear student, city assignment. So if, if you have- No, sir. Now, dear student, distance matrix. Here, uh, how to construct the distance matrix, dear student. Here, I have given some point. Uh, here, x axis, here, y axis. Here P1, for example, our point P1, dear student, just look as, at my mouse pointer. Uh, just look at my mouse pointer, dear student, mouse pointer, here P1. What is the coordinate, dear student, what is the coordinate of P1? Because here X value is zero, Y value is two. So the uh, location of point P1 is zero two. What is the uh, coordinate of point uh, uh, P2? P2 is two because here zero to two is two and Y value is zero, so two zero. What is the coordinate of P3, dear student, P3? So P3 is three one because from zero to three, this is the three and from three to one, this is the three one. And five, dear student, there is five. So dear student, zero to five and this is one, so five one. So P1, P2, P3, P4, dear student, Four points you have, four points you have there, student. Now I have to find the distance matrix. How can I find out the distance matrix? For example, I have given an example there, student. P1, P2, P1, P2. How can I calculate this value? Here, there, student, I have given an example P1. What is the location of P1? There, student, here P1, P2, P3, P4. P1, P2, P3, P4 that I have written here. And P1, P2, P3, P4, I have written horizontally, also vertically, I have written. P1, P2, P3, P4, dear student, P1, P2, P3, P4, I have written. P1, P2, P3, P4, I have written vertically also. So now I want to, for example, I want to find out the 
distance between P1 and P2. Here I have given an example by showing using arrow sign there is P1. What is P1? P1 is 0, 2, and P2, dear student, P2 is 2, 0. P1, from this graph, I have written P1 is 0, 2, and P2 is 2, 0. Now, dear student, I, I can calculate the Euclidean distance. What is Euclidean distance? That means 0 minus 2 whole square, 2 minus 0 whole square, 0 minus 2 whole square. Dear student, I want to find out the distance between P1 and P2. I want to find out the distance between P1 and P2. What is the distance? What is the uh, distance between P1 and P2? 0 minus 2 whole square, 2 minus 0 whole square, then square root. Then square root, dear students. So after calculating, I have got 2.828. 2.828 that I have written here. That I have written here, dear student. Any problem to understand, dear student? How you have to calculate the distance matrix, dear student? Dear student, any problem to understand how to calculate the distance matrix? Dear student? No problem, sir. Any student, any problem to understand any for any student? No, sir. Okay. So, uh, here, uh, this is the uh, distance, uh, dear student, I have, uh, I have calculated the distance 2.828. How I have calculated here, I have shown the example. P1, our P1 value is 0, 2. P1 value is 0, 2. P2 is 2, 0. P2 is 2, 0. So P1, P2, dear student, because this cell, this cell contains the distance between P1 and P2. P1 and P2. So how can I calculate the distance between P1 and P2? P1 is 0, 2. And P2 is 2, 0, dear student. P2 is 2, 0. So P1, P2, how can I calculate the P1, P2? I have to calculate the Euclidean distance. So dear student, Euclidean distance I have calculated here. How I have calculated the Euclidean distance? 0 minus 2 whole square plus 2 minus 0 whole square. 0 minus 2 whole square, 2 minus 0 whole square. Here I have written dear student. So after making calculation and making the square, uh, square root operation, I have got 2.828. So I have written 2.82 here. Here I have given side note. Here student here I have given side note. I have uh, how I have calculated 2.828 that I have written here. So dear student, uh, I hope that I have shown here only single calculation. Similar way I have to calculate all of the distance media. Only I have shown here only single calculation. I have shown here, but you have to calculate all of the distance measure using Euclidean distance. I hope that dear student, you have no problem. Sir, why do we need to use the Euclidean distance measurement? Actually, uh, because many distance measure available, uh, Mahalanobi distance measure, uh, Porta Sergio distance measure, uh, many distance measure available. Since Euclidean distance measure is very simple, because of that, I have uh, say, uh, yeah, I have taken this example for uh, uh, this example using Euclidean distance measure. Because Euclidean distance measure, we know, everybody knows, and it is very easy example because of that I have written. But after one or two classes, I have showed you the, what, uh, I have showed you the Mahalanobi distance measure, how to calculate the distance measure using Mahalanobi distance, that I will show you. Now the student sequence data here, uh, data distance matrix calculation I have shown. Uh, sir, yeah. I have another query, sir. Okay. Actually, we get, we know that uh, the if we assume the point is x1 and x2 and p2 is x2 and, uh, 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 sorry, sir, x1 and y1 for p1 and for p2 is x2 and y2, sir. So for uh, the distance measurement, uh, uh, the rule is uh, like that uh, x minus x1 divided by x1 minus x2. X we get to know. x1 whole square plus y minus y1 whole square. x minus x1 whole square plus y minus y1 whole square. Then, oh, oh. Okay. then dear student, now sequence data. I already told you about the sequence data. Sequence data may be genome sequence, for example. DNA sequence, you know the DNA sequence. 
now covid situation is continuing dear student and uh, covid virus has genome sequence and time to time this sequence is changing by using mutation by using mutation because of mutation dear student covid changes covid virus changes is uh, genome sequence because of that it is very difficult to find the medicine so dear student based on the genome sequence the researcher invented the medicine so dear student genome sequence is sequence data there is a particular sequence here i have given the symptom sequence symptom sequence i have given a night sweat and fever fever then anemia this is a sequence dear student night sweat uh, then fever then anemia this is the symptom of anemia night sweat sleepy and anemia this is another symptom of an anemia so here this is the sequence data that i have given you and temporal data dear student already i have told you about the temporal data i have given you example the rainfall data for example january how much rainfall february how much rainfall march how much rainfall april how much rainfall may how much rainfall june how much rainfall july how much rainfall so dear student here i have given an example of rainfall so dear student here rainfall example is given this is the temporal data because the amount of rainfall changes with respect to time january february march april may june july this is the uh, uh, rainfall changes with respect to time with respect to time the finance data finance data may be stock market data the uh, student uh, uh, stock market sometimes rise and fall so uh, stock market data may be another example uh for temporal data and interval data dear student here i have written interval data for example interval data may be scale data for example dear student celsius scale uh we are telling uh, for example e temperature e this range of the in the celsius scale in that case uh this is very bad e temperature is uh below this range then uh, it is not problematic so dear student that is the interval data uh for example our fever in case of our fever for example uh we measuring our fever uh using uh, in celsius scale fahrenheit scale also romer scale using different scale we can uh, we measure our temperature body temperature so based on the our body body temperature whether our situation or status of the body uh, body we can calculate that data is scale data or interval data so dear student do you have any question in this space dear student dear student any problem in this space sir uh, sir will you please repeat the uh, finance data finance data stock market data for example stock stock market uh sometimes rise sometimes fall abhi share market er kon nam shunchen tai na to share market e dhoren je bigoto dhoren je onek din er share market er data ache to oi data er upor base kore ekhon hocche je asker market ki rise hobe ki fall hobe seta jodi apni ekটু ekটু prediction kora jay eta am prediction kora jay shei je data finance market data bolchi finance data apni hocche je shekhe korte paren আপনার লাইবিলিটি তারপরে সিঙ্গেল রেসিপি যেগুলো না কোম্পানি লাইবিলিটি হবে সামনে হচ্ছে যে লাভ হবে কি না সামনে হচ্ছে যে মার্কেটের কি অবস্থা হবে সেগুলো আপনি দেখতে পাচ্ছেন বুঝতে পারছি স্যার थैंक यू তারপর হচ্ছে যে এখানে হচ্ছে যে বলছি হচ্ছে যে ইন্টারভেল ডেটা আর আই এম টকিং अबाउट দা ইন্টারভেল ডেটা ফর एग्जांपल आवर बॉडी टेंपरेचर উইল মেজার आवर बॉडी टेंपरेचर বাই ইউজিং থার্মোমিটার a uh, thermometer has uh, three types of scale celsius scale fahrenheit scale and romer scale and many scales uh, three scales we have so uh, sometimes we tell if our uh, body temperature within this range in that case dear student our status of the body is not good in that case our if this range our uh, status is good so uh, dear student uh, based on the scale 
we can uh, we can get data uh, from the thermometer so that is also that is interval data uh, interval data we also get now the student i will uh, uh, take attendance Uh, dear student, whether my lecture is very fast or any problem to understand my lecture? Dear student. No problem. No problem, sir. Can I respond in roll call? Uh, uh, Nasrar Abdul Katri, Ilyas Hussain, Ilyas, yes, was present, maybe. Uh, yes, Mosul? Chilo. Mustafa Salim Raja, Mustafa Salim Raja, Yes, sir. Uh, Rustomali. Yes, sir. Moyotin. Moyotin. Rokuno Rokuno Jaman. Rokuno Jaman. Mohibul Islam. Mohibul Islam. Sir, Chilean only, sir. Masood Rahman. Yes, sir. Tanmoy. Yes, sir. Okay, Manusul. Yes, sir. Nuzhat. Present, sir. Fadlul. Yes, sir. Nuruddin. Sir. Shahinur Islam. Yes, sir. Sharafat Hussain. Yes, sir. Shabbo Shasi Dash. Yes, sir. Benamin Mukammel. Benamin Mukammel. Sir, chill, sir. Farhan Mukammel Alam. Present, sir. Mahabu Hussain. Present, sir. Haizah Alam. Present, sir. Khaled Mahmoud Arif. Yes, sir. Riyadul Islam. Yes, sir. Afayat Ahmed. Yes, sir. Uh, M. M. Zakaria, sir. Anunna Rahman, Anunna, uh, Sir uh, uh, Rifat Alaklar, present, sir. Suraya Zabin, yes, sir. Uh, Saifur Rahman, yes, sir. Uh, Mudassir Zakaria, <coughs> present, sir. Uh, uh, Ziaul Hop. Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Sultana Kausar. Sultana Kausar. Basma Rahman. Yes, sir. Uh, Sipanjol Rakshi. Yes, sir. Uh, Tohidu Zaman. Yes, sir. Momita Kobi. Yes, sir. Uh, Habibu Rahman Rana. Yes, sir. Amir, Amir Hussain. Yes, sir. Uh, so Ahmed Tati. Yes, sir. Okay. Dear student, uh, remember that old student, my announce to uh, old students, your scholarship will be given within 20 days after starting the class. So please wait up to that uh, time. Uh, uh, your scholarship result will be published and you will get your scholarship. Those students who are expecting the scholarship, inshallah, I will be able to be published. So after that time, please wait. Uh, wait for the time. So dear students, today my lecture is finished. Uh, stay safe. Allah Hafiz. Sir, uh, I have a one question. Okay, please.
sir why uh, i will get the lecture sheet uh, i mean uh, you showed some i will give you all the lecture lms please download all of the lecture sheet from lms okay okay sir thank you thank you thanks a lot thank you sir thank you sir thank you yes sir assalam alaikum